You see, the thing that I love about this build, this character build, this equipment build, is the amount of versatility that it's going to offer to you, because you're going to be able to become a deadly thunder god with any martial class that you can think of, because this is not going to be a leveling build. This is going to be an equipment build, like I mentioned previously. And yes, these are all items that you can find in the early access, and probably the item station is going to change in the full release of the game, but for you, because of that, I have just right this little thing right here. This beautiful people, they got in touch with me and they told me, Hey James, we have our wiki and we're going to have updated things that you're going to be able to showcase in your videos. And I love that because these guys are going to have to, are going to be updating everything. And every time that I'm going to be making a build, I am going to be able to showcase you the specific location of the thing thanks to this guys, because there's always going to be a way to obtain everything that I showcase in my BLs. The amazing thing is that this is at free, so you're not going to have annoying pop-ups or anything like that, and even if the itemization changes on the full release of the game, there's going to be links in the video description for each and every single one of these items that I'm going to showcase you right now for this build, and these guys are going to be doing their best to update every single thing for you to be able to build this character at your leisure and heart's content. And like I said, what I love about this character reveal is that you're going to be able to build this character, make a Thunder God with either a Fighter, Paladin, Cleric, even Druid. We're going to make a little bit of a changes when it comes to the Druid, but basically you are going to be able to become a Thunder God thanks to these items that I'm going to showcase you right now. This is the first thing that you need to look out for, and arguably the most important thing about this build, and that is going to be the Sparks Wall. What this thing is going to do is that it's going to allow you to stand on top of electrified surfaces without receiving damage. That is amazing, and that is gorgeous, because what we're going to be doing is that we're going to be using next the water sparkers. Water sparkers are going to turn any surface with water into electrified surface, meaning it's going to give you an amazing CC potential area of effect that is going to allow you to, to have your tank on top of it, and it's not going to suffer any, any damage because it's going to be using the ring that we previously mentioned. So you can stand on that electrified surface, but the enemy they can't and usually they are not going to be standing that much in there and if you have like for example your mage which is gale or will as a warlock and you have a Sterion as a ranger and then you have a shadow heart as a cleric doing things from the distance buffing and whatnot creating the puddles of water that means that the enemy is going to be fixed on your main character and that is going to ensure that uh, you're going to have complete control of the battlefield and the enemy is just going to be there electrifying themselves to death the weapon that we're going to be using with our characters is going to change this is the one that we're going to be using for melee characters such as paladins fighters and clerics because this thing is going to grant you electric charges whenever you attack. Whenever you reach 5 charges with any kind of damage that you do, the electric charges are going to explode, granting you an extra 1d8 electric damage, meaning that uh, you're always dealing electric damage with this weapon, and if it turns out the case, if it turns out that you chose the druid instead of the fighter martial class, you're going to be using this beautiful bad boy, the spell sparkler. What I love about the spell sparkler is that you are going to be able to use this thing to generate electric charges with this thing by using cantrics or spells as well. Meaning that you could also be a thunder god with a druid and still be able to cast your spells, not necessarily have to be a martial class when it comes to being a warrior, fighter, tank, this is going to ensure that you're also going to be able to pull this off by being a mage, or, but I'd not really advise for that that much, because the next items of armor, weapons, accessories, and whatnot that we're going to be using, they are going to be focused for tanks, so usually I advise for you to use this character build as a tank. The Jolty Best. This is a medium armor and what this thing does is that every time that the wire takes damage while you are electrified while you have li lightning charges the enemy that attack you is going to have to throw a saving throw for dexterity and if he, if they do not pass it they are going to become shocked so meaning that they are going to be open to you for you to deal that much more damage to them and then we're going to have the life ringer oh boy we're just getting 
beefier and beefier by the minutes. The Life Bringer, this is going to, as long as you have lightning charges, and remember you're always going to have lightning charges, you are also going to get three temporary hit points, meaning you're going to be even more tankier than <laughs> you already are. And then we have the real Sparky Sparks Wall, and this bad boy is going to allow us to deal that much more damage with the lightning charges that we are that we are generating by standing in our puddle of water, electrified puddle of water. When you get four lightning charges, you can use the buff or spell that this thing is going to do, which is going to create a lightning aura, and the initial blast that is going to jolt into the nearby enemies, it's possibly going to deal 1d6 lightning damage, and this is going to be in an area of effect, so it is amazing, it's beautiful, it's just protection, it's damage altogether. And then finally, we're going to have the sparkle hands. The Sparkle Hands, what they are going to do is essentially they are going to give us a plus one to strength of externally checks whenever we have lightning charges. And with this character build that we have right now, we are always, always, always going to have lightning charges at all time. So basically, if you combine all of that together, you're going to become a god of thunder. And remember that even on launch, if the items are changed throughout and they are scattered in new locations, you can still come to the wiki, which is going to be there's going to be a separate individual link in the video description for you to be able to find all of these little items for you to become a god monster, a god thunder, for you to become Thor, regardless of your class, regardless if you want to be a fighter, a paladin, cleric, druid, you got it. <laughs> I just love it. Anyways, if you like the contents, like and very super appreciated. No one told you today you're a gorgeous and beautiful person. You are indeed a gorgeous and beautiful, beautiful person. I will be seeing you, God, them gorgeous and beautiful people in the next one. Have a beautiful day and goodbye. <laughs>